So 50% of what we do is engineered systems. The other half is distributed parts. So when we go over to the carousel, we'll show you the, the shipping area, assembly build area, paint booth area, and right underneath us is the CNC uh, manufacturing area. The shipping and receiving area, the whole idea, the concept behind the inventory carousel is for speed to market and accuracy. Now when you scan a pick ticket, the part is brought to the person at a station or at the shipping area instead of uh, the person walking all over or driving a high-low looking for the part. And then on top of that, going beyond the inventory carousel, MFP has a business called Distronet and it's a shared inventory network. So we have about $4 million of inventory here at MFP and then again $100 million of shared inventory all spread across the United States. So here at the loading dock area, of course, shipping and receiving. One of the nice things about this is when parts come in, you've got some time to, to put away, you know, scan in and, and, and receive into the inventory carousel. But more importantly, when parts are coming in for the jobs, as we're staging for jobs, we'll skip the put away on the inventory carousel and we'll stage them for job bins. The idea, the concept is to, to be efficient and go directly to the job bin and skip the carousel altogether. So that's where we do all this in this area here. The power unit build area, we have four work cells. You've got the work cell here, here, and then behind me are two more work cells. And if we had, if we grew quickly, we would have two more work cells where I'm standing basically. Uh, nice part about this area is the cranes above us would handle all six work cells really, and, and you wouldn't short each other with, the, with cranes. We've got plasma cutters, welders, crimping machines, forklifts, cranes, of course. Everything in this one large zone, but yet it's laid out into nice work cell areas so the guys aren't, aren't fighting over tools and things like that. So this area is the Parker store, which is walk-in retail. And then we combined our Parker store walk-in retail with the light assembly area. So the Parker store side of the business is where a customer will walk in off the street with a broken down piece of equipment. Let's say he's got the hose that failed or a manifold that failed or a valve that failed. What we do in here in the, in the Parker store side of things, we identify the problem, we create the solution, we'll actually manufacture the solution and send him on his way. Whether it be a hose assembly, a custom with custom threads or a valve assembly on a manifold, we will literally create it while he waits, send him back to his job site so he can get his machine up and running. Then the light assembly area, is where we have the hose assemblies, custom manifold assemblies as production runs. So the walk-in retail is much different than the light assembly as production runs. There's high, high runners. You can see custom hose, CNC cutoff machine, hydraulic crimpers, all different sizes, sorts. And then we do manifold assembly and torque specs and quality control in this room also. With all the crimping machines and devices in the light assembly area, we have a huge investment of the Markin CNC hose cutting machine. It, it really adds a huge value to the production cell. When you're trying to keep up with large 1,000 and 2,000 piece hose orders, the machine is busy cutting hoses accurately while we're putting the ends on, crimping, cleaning, capping, getting ready for the next batch. So with all the custom power units and all the custom equipment that we build, the end result always has to be a finished painted product. So. One of the nice things we created inside of the building here is we have a large, large paint booth area. Keep the smell, keep the dust, keep the fumes in this area. We can close the door, there's filtration in the door. And then we have a large job staging area. Of course, once the, once the jobs come out of paint, uh, you demask, you make sure everything's cleaned up and then you start tagging. Uh, in the paint prep area, we have the, the laser engraved printer machine. So our labels are pretty high end, they look pretty good, and it's, it's a laser engraved finished product for every custom tag that we have to build for the power units. So the CNC area, we have six vertical mills or CNC machines. We design and build all of our own manifolds. So in this room, we've got the, the capability of doing one-offs, little customs, one or two pieces, or high, high runners. We also have spare bar stock, so when somebody comes in as an emergency or we have to do a quick one-off, We've got the, the raw material, and we just cut to size and start cutting chips. This room also lately, we've added the, the, the quality control and manifold assembly. So they're, they're taking over some of the quality control and finish, finish build final product right inside the CNC machine room. So this upstairs is uh, engineering. It's mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, automation engineers. So this is where they can pull together electronics, uh, do custom controls, software. Uh, we'll literally create 
a package for the customer, run it off in here, have the customer come in and visit and, and watch it run.